Welcome everyone. Thanks for watching this video again. In this video, I'm going to explain the process how to upgrade the Cisco APIC controllers. Uh, in the previous video, I, I have uh, explained how to upload the images first on the APIC. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to upgrade the uh, APIC controller on for, for the Cisco ACI. So the images are already uh, uploaded on the EPIC here. Uh, you can see the status of the controller. Uh, the current firmware is 6.03D uh, for controllers and as well as for the switches. So in this video, I will show you only how to upgrade the software version on the Cisco EPIC controller in the Cisco ACI. So uh, we need to go on the same page under the admin firmware and then uh, on the controller. So I, this is a, again recorded video. Uh, I will move forward uh, so that we can skip the, uh, skip the time. Uh, you don't need to watch if uh, for, for a longer time because it's a lengthy process and you don't need to wait and watch the entire video for, for a long time. So I will try to make it short as much as we can. Uh, so uh, in this in this page, uh, you can see under the uh, the controller. Okay, let me go to the controller. Uh, here you see the current version uh, is six point zero three D, and when 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 it was last updated, uh, there are three. Uh, controllers in this in this cluster here you see the switches uh, this in under the summary you will see all the switches here so if if you click here uh, on the setup update you will see these options coming uh, where you can uh, upgrade the the epic uh, with the regular upgrade or doing the software maintenance upgrade which is the SMU image and then if you want to uninstall the SMU image, you can choose this version. And this is the select firmware, which is the target image, which already been upgrade, uh, uploaded on the, on the fabric uh, Epic. So in this process, you will see uh, the pre-checks performed by the Epic means if there is any uh, issue to upgrade the fabric, it will show you uh, what could be the reason of the failure and what all the faults are there, which you need to fix it if some major issues can happen during the upgrade. So this is really a useful process here, I, I must say. So it will go in three stage, uh, version selection, the, the validation, and then the confirmation. So I will choose the regular upgrade and then I will choose the, the firmware. Yeah. So different options, uh, you can choose whatever you wanna, you wanna achieve. Uh, so I'll choose the, uh, the firmware and in the bottom, there is uh, an option for the next. Um, I'm going to click on the next, you will see, uh, the Fabric Epic is performing the pre-validation checks, which uh, will give you a, a list of all the failures, which are critical for the Fabric to fix before you proceed on the upgradation. But this is just uh, a lab environment for me, uh, which is not necessary to fix all the problems. But if you are upgrading the uh, the Epic software, then you need to fix all the major issues before you proceed with the upgradation. Uh, that's a Cisco recommendation. So it will give you the recommendation, the reason, and uh, the solution how to fix it. So make sure you fix all and every uh, single checkups becomes green. There are some, yeah. So I will ignore and move forward and uh, you see the current version. The current version is 3.03D and the target version is 6.05H. Uh, I'm going to upgrade uh, 
on the Cisco Epic Server M4. Yeah, so I will begin the install again in the bottom. And here you see uh, the status of the installation. Uh, you see the Epic one is in the in the queue right now, and it's uh, proceeding with the installing the uh, software or the, with the on the Epic two and the Epic three. So it is starts with all the epics in the one go, but uh, the reboot of the of the the Cisco Epic server will be one by one. So it starts shows the ID uh, start with the ID one two and then three. You see the current version and then you have the target version. As soon as the server reboots and come back and uh, uh, join the cluster again, then you see the you will see the change here in the current version immediately. Yeah, so I will move forward again this video so we don't need to sit for an, an hour uh, and uh, see the entire process for, for the installation of the, of the firmware version on the uh, Cisco Epic M4 server. Uh, you see the progress is moving 25 to 50 percent uh, is moved. Uh, there's, uh, I just log in on the Epic, Epic one uh, to see uh, what is the status there. So you can use this command, it show firmware upgrade status controller group uh, with the detail. And you, you can see the what is the current progress. Uh, the Epic one is 75%, Epic two is 50% and Epic three again is the 50%. Yeah, you can, you can track the status here as well uh, together with the GUI. Even on the GUI, uh, when you move uh, your cursor on the uh, on the installation here on the installing, uh, then you can see uh, the different status of what exactly is happening on the Epic servers. So we just need to keep patience. Uh, it's a very, as I said, it's a very lengthy process. We have to just keep monitoring what is going on, or you can also take the uh, the console or, or the CMC uh, access on the on the Epic. If if there is any failure, you can you can check in the logs. You see here what is happening. It's migrating the configuration right now, and here the waiting for the controller to upgrade it's just wait it's just in the queue for the other controller to be uh, upgraded yeah you can again go and check uh, you can see the epic one I just forwarded this video next you can see the epic one is uh, is rebooting and it's unreachable right now. I'll move forward again uh, this video a little bit so that we don't need to see the same status. Uh, it takes at least an hour for one uh, one server. I just logged in on the on the CMC to see the what is happening on the console. So again, the Epic one is completed. Uh, you see the current version is 6.05H. The target version is also the same and the status is completed. So the Epic one is is rebooted and can and join the, uh, the, the cluster again. You can also see the status here. So now it's moved to the uh, to the Epic 2 on migrating the configuration, you can see here. So the Epic 1 is completed. And right now it is rebooting. So just keep patience. You don't need to do anything. It will reboot automatically and come back and rejoin the cluster. Uh, Epic 2 is also completed. And now it's moving on the Epic 3. So Epic 2, the current version is 6.05H again, uh, and it's moving on the Epic 3. So 
so you can see the node is unreachable uh, here on the CLI the the epic three is not unreachable it means it's reporting the the node just give it some more time and keep patience you don't need to anything uh, to do anything here uh, it's a very lengthy process and after some time if you refresh the, this this page maybe you need to re-log in on the on the epic one of the epic and if you refresh it uh, you will see so maybe i have to re-log in on, on on my epic just to see the current status of all the all the epic servers go to the controller and you will see here all the epics uh, update status is completed it means they are already upgraded on the current version 6.05h and uh, i would suggest to keep patience more uh, to see the uh, the status of all the epic on the on the dashboard so the fabric cluster is healthy uh, before proceeding on the switch uh, upgrade you can see also here uh, the firmware of the epic is 6.05h but the firmware for the for the switches uh, here in the bottom uh, is still uh, the old one 6.03d which is not yet upgraded as the version of the uh, of the epics yeah that's all thank you so much for watching this uh, this video remember to validate the uh, the fabric cluster status here uh, on the dashboard make sure it is fully fit Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh